What is a turkey's favorite dessert? Peach gobbler. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Happy Tuesday, everybody. Happy, happy Janksgiving. <laughs> it's a pleasure to be here with you all. Um, appropriately on the incorrect day, Janksgiving is, uh, is celebrated on Tuesday. <laughs> because I, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to stream um, uh, this week after tonight. <laughs> But I'm very happy that you've joined me, my friends. Let me welcome everybody in. Yake is first in chat tonight. Um, what song is this? So both of those uh, songs, both of them actually are uh, are mixes created by Sparrow. The first one, um, which is, I believe, the one you're asking about, is um, actually inspired by a track um, from Vector Man. And uh, I don't know where he got the other things that he... Uh, that he samples to, uh, to, to bring it all together. Um, but it's on his SoundCloud page. I think it's called Vector Man 95 Mix, um, which is uh, perfectly, perfectly done because, <laughs> because I told him that uh, it, it reminds me of, uh, it reminds me of like a, a middle school pep rally. <laughs> All right, we've also got a conga here, conga line monkey, and Sir Rack of Lamb. Pleasure to see you both, my friends. I hope you're doing well today. And Lucent Jelly, happy Janksgiving, everyone. <laughs> so happy Janksgiving, my friends. I love the first song. <laughs> I, uh, I'm a big fan of Sparrow's music and I, and, uh, in, in general, but, uh, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. I really like how, I really like how upbeat that one is. All right, my friends. So I promised you some, uh, I promised you some trash games and I don't think I'm going to disappoint tonight. <laughs> We're using a Janksgiving as, uh, an excuse to play what, what may be some of the what may be some of the most trash that I've played on stream thus far. Um, I've got a couple different, I've got a couple different plug and play games for us tonight. <laughs> so, so that's the type of quality you could expect. And we're going to set the tone right, I think. Let's go ahead and fire up our first one. Now, this may be very frustrating. If you're listening with headphones, you may only get audio in one ear. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to fix that. Because these only have mono output. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So welcome to Deal or No Deal. <laughs> oh no, where'd it go? Oh no, is this the kind of problems we're going to have all night? <clears throat> I'm going to have to hold the cord at a particular angle to keep the video signal intact. <laughs> the cord is damaged. <laughs> uh Oh, yeah, yeah, I can show the controller. Um, it might, the video's probably gonna, yeah, bug out a lot. So it's a, it's a little, uh, it's a little case, I think, fittingly. And the lid comes up, and you got your, uh, Howie and, uh, all of his friends there, and our, uh, controls. I like we've got a glowing big red button. All right, so... I'm gonna try and hold. I'm gonna try and hold this so that uh, so that we're able to actually play it. I can't believe it's this busted. 
That was not on purpose. Um, oh, nice. Sir Racket Blam said the Magic Boy emote I was working on the other day was just approved. Let's uh, let's take a good look at that. Oh my goodness, what a character. <laughs> Nicely done, Sir Rackablam. There's so much, uh, there's so much detail. He kind of looked like, uh, he kind of looks like his arm there. The way his arm moves down into his body kind of makes him look like he's like a drumstick that came to life. <clears throat> And Jar Jams, welcome in. Scooby-Doo plug and play time. Well, I, I don't think I have a Scooby-Doo game, unfortunately. But uh, we've got a couple different things. And uh, we're going to see. <laughs> we're going to see what they're like. Five Foot Giant, good to see you again. It's been a while. I hope you've been well. Thank you for joining us tonight. And happy Janksgiving. We we're just about to start trying to play some deal or no deal. So career, <laughs> career, I'm a, I'm a professional deal or no deal contestant. <laughs> I've made a career out of it. Quick game, bonuses, bonus games. Are these, uh, these have got to be all built within the deal or no deal engine right yeah all right well maybe we'll check those out too <sighs> i think we should just start up career mode i don't know i don't know how well our career is gonna go When the emotes dance around, the, bounce around the screen, it looks like a bunch of laughing boogers waving their arms around. <laughs> All right, new career. Let's go down my favorite save slot number three. And no punctuation, so I can't put in my uh, my frowny face. This, uh, holding this, uh, holding this, um, wire against the box like I have to do to keep it functional is, uh, kind of hurts my hand. And we've just started. But I will endure. I must endure the pain for the jank. Deal or no deal, there are 26 cases, each with a different amount of money. When the game starts, you choose the one case for yourself. Then each round, you open some of the remaining cases, after which the banker will offer to buy your case. If you take the offer, the game ends. Otherwise, the game continues until you have opened all but one case. You then have the option to switch your case for the one remaining case. You will win the amount in the case you choose. I see now. I see now why they why they included a photograph for us. <laughs> this is like this is like <laughs> Let's make it let's make it big for a moment here. They they included a nice a nice photograph for us on the inside of the uh, case here. Because they wanted us to know what everything was really supposed to look like. <laughs> it's kind of like the uh, kind of like the logic behind um, uh, Atari artwork. 
what platform are we on? We're on a we're on a plug and play um, five foot giant. This is a this is the deal or no deal plug and play console. <laughs> The game paused itself for me. That's very convenient. I wonder if I accidentally hit the button. All right, so back to game. And here we go. Um, what do we think? What's a good what's a what's a good number? What feels lucky to us? I could go with something, you know, sort of cliche, like 7 or 13. What is today's date? Today's November 22nd? Why don't we go with the 22nd? So the thing about deal or no deal, now we have to open six cases. 19? All right. Well, I'll open 19. I don't mind if people want to suggest numbers in the chat. I know we are very heavily no backseating. I don't mind if people uh, suggest numbers, but just keep in mind, I, I might not always listen to them. So th don't take it personally if I don't. <laughs> uh, all right. Hey, 19 was a good a good case to open. So we want to see the all the low numbers, right? Because that means we're more likely to have a high one in our case. I'm not super familiar with this game. <laughs> I know I've seen I know I've seen the game show back I when it existed. I don't know if it exists anymore. But it's uh, it's been a while. Nineteen. Um, I kind of feel like just uh, going with uh, prime numbers. How about seventeen? Hey, look at that! No, no, you're fine. You're fine. Five foot giant. Absolutely no worries. Um, oh, I think 23 thought it was going to get lucky up there. Oh. Oh, we've got we've got a, quite an array of characters there. We've still got a million on the board. All right. I like the positive. Uh, I like the positive energy. I could, I don't know how exciting this can possibly be. <laughs> uh, my 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 prime numbers strategy has been working out really well for us though. Here, look at this. We've only had, what, one miss? Beautiful. Banker time, okay. Hello. Deal or no deal? $57,000 for this case? I mean... Seriously? The thing is... The thing is, there's never any reason not to write it out. <laughs> I hate to break everyone's immersion, but... We're not getting any money either way. <laughs> uh.
All right, we got to open five cases this time. Oh, why don't we just start with five? I'm running out of I'm running out of prime numbers. <laughs> A lot of twins working the uh, the cases tonight. Um, what are you thinking? Did any, did anyone see the skit where instead of a picture of the amount? They put bricks of gold inside the cases, and the ladies struggled to hold the expensive ones. <laughs> I love it. Uh, Greg, welcome in. What do you think? We've got Greg's retro channel here. Yes, happy Thanksgiving, Greg. Um, so I was kind of thinking, well, why don't we switch it up? Why don't we go, since we had to open five cases, why don't we open all the fives, right? Five, 10, 15, 20. Oh, I should have never abandoned the prime numbers. Maybe that one, maybe that one was a fluke. That's right, we're playing Deal or No Deal. We're playing plug-and-play games tonight. This is a... This is a... A plug-and-play Deal or No Deal console. Oh, it really was a bad idea. I'm committed. Hey, there we go. Oh, things got better again. It's doing pretty well not cutting out like at the start. Well, I, I can prevent it from cutting out by holding it a particular way, Jelly. <laughs> I'm the, uh... I'm the one responsible for preventing it from bre breaking down. All right, that started off kind of painful, but those last two were good numbers to see. Okay. Hello. Okay. Deal or no deal. All right, the numbers still went up. What are you, thinking? you know, although the animation doesn't have a lot of detail, it's uh, surprisingly fluid for what it is. No, I hit the menu button again. No deal. All right, four cases. Let's go ahead and grab these last couple uh, primes that I didn't get before. You were just thinking about that, about the animation, too. <laughs> All right, we got two left. I'm thinking we already got rid of number 7. How about we get rid of 14 and 21? That'll get, I think, all the 7s off the board. My, my thought processes are terrible.
now it's time for the banker. Hello. Oh. Deal or no deal? It's so much better. What are you thinking? Still some big numbers up there. I agree with you, Sir Rackablam. Three cases to open. Um, do we have anything? Do we have any three numbers that, like, make sense together? It's nothing like three in a row. Let's just pick arbitrarily. 18. Open the kit. Oh no. <laughs> Is how he's supposed to be pointing or holding up an L for loser. <laughs> I guess it depends on what kind of case we open. Derek Ocean, welcome in. Happy Janksgiving. Welcome to Deal or No Deal. TV plug and play. Hello. How he even blinks occasionally. Open the kit. They tried to make him as lifelike as possible. And 12. Oh. We still got the big three on the board. We're okay. Banker time. Okay. I'm now going to get an offer. Then you have to make a decision. Hello. All right. Deal. Oh, our... I think our offer went down, right? Weren't, weren't we at like one... 198 before that's bad um did howie record exactly three sound bites for this game <laughs> i think you're giving him too much credit five foot giant i think he probably didn't record any <laughs> i think they were probably all just ripped from the show <laughs> they did they made a plug and play for it that's what we're uh that's what we're hanging out with right now i've got a couple different I've got a couple different plug-and-play uh, games for us to go through tonight. That's going to be the theme of the evening. When I pr when I promised when I promised you trash, I did not lie. <laughs> no deal. We can get our money back. I'm tempted to leave the biggest and the smallest cases on the board forever. I'm tempted to leave one in twenty-six. I might change my mind about that, though. We've got two... Nope, we've only got one double digit left. Not counting, you know, the one I don't want to open ever. Oh, no, why? One of these things is not like the others. No! There's only one big number left on the board. Banker time. Okay. Banker this is a lot less exciting with no real money. Now get an <laughs> you have to make a decision. Uh, deal or no deal? I don't know, my friends. I don't know. I'm I'm starting to to get cold feet. I think we should take the deal. It's in case 22, no worries. I don't know. We're down to one big number on the board. I think that we should cut our loss. I think we should I think we should just should just take the deal and run. <laughs> no. 
no deal, Derek says. All right, we go down with the ship. <laughs> uh, I don't know what makes career mode a career. No. That is an L for loser. Here comes an offer. Hello. Okay. Ready for some bad news? <laughs> Ready for some bad news. Oh. That sweet hundred still on the board. Can we have a drum roll? Open the kit. Banker time. Okay. Hello. Okay. How many people think deal? People think no deal. Deal or no deal? Do we have a single dollar in the case? Maybe. What do you think? Can we have a drum roll? Open the kit. Well, we don't have a hundred. <laughs> I guess if we really want to get the, uh, if you really want to get the game show experience, I should be pausing. I should be pausing and running an ad before every decision, right? <laughs> then, then you really feel like you're watching a game show. <laughs> We're going home. We're going home with case 22. Can we have a drum roll? Open the kit. We don't have a single dollar. Banker time. Okay. Banker wants you to leave. Yes, we want to see what this offer is. Hello. All right. It takes them three episodes to open everything. <laughs> All right, our own case or to swap? We're not going to swap. I like I said, we're going home with this case. What did we have? Twenty five dollars. Anything's better than forty dollars now. Is twenty is twenty five dollars better than forty dollars? <laughs> Wait, Howie, we get to keep the suitcase too, right? Well, there were some definitely some highs and some lows, my friends. Oh, career mode goes through all the different games, I guess. 
because there are uh, there are bonus games like different game modes. So okay, I'm glad we picked this. This shouldn't have made me laugh. Now you can get a working plug and play. <laughs> Uh, there are 16 cases that contain money and 10 cases that contain the banker. You choose a case. If your case has money inside, that amount is added to your total, and you have the option to either cash out or continue playing. If your case has the banker inside, the, game's in, the game ends and you win nothing. Alright, so we've got, like, slightly better than 50-50 odds. Yeah, <laughs> Ha! The banker's in the case. How big is this banker? Well, what do we think? There are 16... There are 10 with the banker, and there are 16 without. Can't just be even an odds. I don't know. Let's, uh, lucky number 3. Uh, number seven, Rackalam says. All right. Prime numbers. Open the case. How much is the banker worth if I cash him out? Well, I guess they told me nothing. <laughs> All right. Seven Eleven. Oh. Immediately ruined. That's a rough game. Those are some rough odds. Grand total of two game. Oh. What? Car career mode is just two games? That's... What? Maybe... Oh, probably you play a regular game and then you play a random bonus game. Because that wasn't even... Like, if we were going through them, they, like that wasn't even in order. See, there's a... The, uh, the banker bust is at the bottom of this menu. All right, well, let's see. What's Lucky Case? There are five cases on the screen, each containing a random amount of money. You will win whatever amount of money is inside the case you open. That's it? That's the one? It, there's nothing to it but just pick one case. And apparently they're all winners. Right in the middle, number three. The Not even thinking about it. <laughs> Please remind me to never be on a game show. <laughs> oh no, the video's going wild. Yeah, it's a single penny. It couldn't possibly be any worse. Alright, money trail. There are 16 cases on the screen and they will open in a random sequence. You must repeat this sequence. The game ends if you make a mistake or complete the sequence. You win the amount of money in all the cases you open correctly. Alright, don't... Please don't... Don't write the sequence in chat. <laughs> There may be an instinct to try and help me by cheating, but I don't want to do that. <clears throat> well, you see, here's the thing. Like, if I want to be on a game show, right, I've got to, I've got to pay my own airfare and get a hotel room and all that stuff. Like, I'm going to be out money. 
I can't, I'm not even going to win the cost of my expenses to travel out to appear on the show. Thirteen, nine, sixteen, one, eleven, two, ten, five, seven, eight. This is impossible. What? Yeah, I completely lost it. But hey, look at that. We got a lot of money. I didn't understand. I thought it was going to be like Simon where it builds, where it's like one, 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 two, one, two, one, two, seven, one, two, seven. I didn't know it was just going to be all of them in one go. That is not what I was, that was not what I was expecting. Let's do, let's try this one again. Now that I know how the game works. Maybe I'll do a little better. Probably not. I don't even remember the first one. Not bad. I was completely blank on the bottom ones. I'm much I'm much happier with that performance. <laughs> I'll keep doing it until I do worse than the time before. So I got all but five that time. Oh, I'm, I'm dead. Yeah. All right, I did worse than the one before. <laughs> Boy, that's rough. That's real rough. Cows are important. Welcome in, cows. How goes the jank? It's barely functional. Look what happens when I let go of the wire. It just immediately starts to bug out. I gotta hold the cord in. So we're on a we're playing a, a deal or no deal plug and play right now. It's pretty underwhelming. <laughs> I could get obsessed with this money trail game. I'm not obsessed with it, but I could get obsessed with it. It's tantalizing to try and to try and beat this. Oh no. That that was a that was a memorable that was a memorable pattern. I could have got that one. Ah. Because it went five it even went five, six, seven, eight, right across the right across the middle. Yeah, 
how he's freaking me out with that look. He seems like he's been through some tough times. <laughs> He looks like he's trying to put on a happy face for us. So close. All right, let's look at high low. Maybe I'll do money trail again after we do high low. High low. You choose one case and see what's inside, then choose a second case and guess which case you think has the larger amount of money. The game ends if you guess incorrectly or open all the cases. You win the amount of money in all the cases you guess correctly. Let me uh, pause for just a moment. Jelly's here with some treats for me. Thank you, Jelly, for my Jinx giving feast. I've got apple slices and cheese and coffee. It's wonderful. Loyal to Soil, welcome in. Great to uh, great to have you with me. I finally made it to Jinx giving. How's everything going? <laughs> yeah, deal or no deal. We're playing some plug and play games tonight, Loyal. This is the first one. We're at a. We're gonna wring all the content out of it, so that I never have to play it again. <laughs> Yake says he votes for. I vote for case nine. Sure. I'll take that suggestion. That's where we'll start, anyway. So we pick a case. This is a this is a weird weird game. That's right. I won twenty five dollars and I won a penny. Did I actually get to keep that penny? No, that wasn't part of the career mode. I didn't actually keep the penny. I only kept the twenty five. All these bonus games they don't count. They're not part of our career. So we pick a case. And we see what's in it. We pick a second case. How about 18? That goes well with 9. And now we have to guess which one is bigger. <laughs> I mean... 300k is hard to beat. We'll say that that's the bigger one. I immediately failed. I lose... <laughs> I lose every game on my first choice <laughs> uh. you know what this you know what the problem is this this isn't howie mandel at all this is lex luthor <laughs> That's why he always wins.
He really is. He really. But wait, listen, hear me out. He really is Lex. Because this game is the maze. I don't know where it went from there. Oh. Ah, oh, that's so difficult. Dude doesn't even look close to Howie. <laughs> I don't even remember. <clears throat> Excuse me, I don't even remember what the first one was now. <laughs> Uh, it's really about I, it's really like the, the, the only way that the only hope I have for succeeding in this particular game is to just keep grinding until I get a sequence that sticks in my brain <laughs> I'm trying to draw shapes with the uh with the things that it gives me, but I... That's my, that's my strategy for it, is to try to, just to try to remember a series of shapes, but if they don't line up in the right, in the right ways that I can quickly and conveniently think of a name for the shape, I lose it. <laughs> It looks like it looks like I have a mind for about five or six numbers. That's about how many I can hold at a time. I did though. I did get uh, what nine of them once. Eight. Oh no, it was better than that. One, two, three. No, sixteen. Oh, it was. I got eleven of them once. Because I, I missed I missed five, so yeah, that means I got eleven of them once. I got that's a that's the best I've done. <clears throat> yeah, it's really tough. If it built, like I was saying earlier, you know, if it was like one one 
one two one two one two seven one two seven one two seven nine if it built like that i would i would do it no problem but because it, sh it just does it all at once it doesn't train you for it it's very tough i mean that's the idea right Come on, Howie. Give me an easy pattern. <laughs> I lost it after six numbers again. Howie or no Howie? I'm not obsessed with money trail. I can I can stop any time. No. I need to think of a I need to think of a method for creating a quick mnemonic for uh, for this William says I'm uh, off to bed. I have to work in six hours. Have a good night slash morning, everyone. Thank you for uh, dropping in, Rack of Lamb. Good work on the uh, emote once again, and I hope that you sleep well. We'll look forward to enjoying your company another time. And uh, once more, happy Thanksgiving. That one was so easy because it drew, it drew straight across 13 to 16. Ah, uh, that was, that was a bad one to lose. I was so excited. I was so excited that there were several numbers in sequence. It's so wildly difficult. I'm going to have to give up on this soon. <laughs> Uh, 
I don't even remember what the first number was. <laughs> if I try to if I try to lock the first numbers in my brain, I never catch the end numbers. And if I try to lock the end numbers in my brain, I forget the first numbers. <laughs> they uh oh. GG deal or no deal. You uh you got me with this game. It seems it seems doable. But it's really not. Unless I get, um, unless I get exactly, like, perfectly drawable patterns, I just, I can't hold more than six numbers in my head. after that. I think 10 was the last number. Yeah. That was better. What did I get? 4, 6, 10. I got 9 that time. I think it was seven one three. What a tough game. What a, what a tough game. Why does it have to taunt me by seeming possible? No, it was eleven thirteen, I think. <laughs> the thing is, if I ever get this, it's not going to be because I did a good job. It's because I got lucky and got a good pattern. <laughs>
I had no idea after that. Uh. I didn't even mean to open that one. That was an actual that was actually an accident. One more. Uh, somehow this game is uh, as stressful as that 45-minute boss fight from last night. <laughs> oh, that's right. If you weren't here, my friends, we played Dark Souls last night. I finally defeated Big Guy and Little Guy. Um, uh, or Ornstein and Smo. I think their names are. It was a. Uh, it was an epic. It was an epic, fifty-minute battle. Non-stop, non-stop excitement and overwhelming pressure. And there was one. There was one close call. That uh, everyone thought it was over. I got. I got knocked down to my very last pixel of health. I had to scramble for recovery, oh. and because I uh, and because I did the uh, and because I did the fight very um, not cleverly, I had to two hundred percent one of the bosses. <laughs> uh. But we somehow did it. We uh, we got some cheese at the very end that really helped. Um, and after that, I did the uh, the Castlevania whip only. We had a deathless run of uh, whip only Castlevania, so I'm, I'm done with that challenge too. It was a night of victories. Speaking of victory, come on, Money Trail, lead us home. my friends i mean i think we've seen pretty much all there is to see in this game unless everyone unless everyone's dying for another regular all right let's do the quick game that's the same as the career mode game i'm sure right but this way we can say we've done everything 
26 cases, each with a different amount of money. When the game starts, you choose one case for yourself. Then each round, you open some of the remaining cases, after which the banker will offer to buy your case. You take the offer, the game ends. Otherwise, the game continues until you have opened all but one case. You then have the option to switch your case for one of the remaining cases. You will win the amount in the case you choose. Same as the regular game. Cases held by 26 gorgeous ladies. Got to choose one case. Um, I said before that I that I thought that they just ripped Howie's audio from the show, and I'm certain of it, because you can hear artifacts of like the various contestants and whatnot. <laughs> All right, anyone want to offer their input? What case should we start with? Taking the first uh taking the first suggestion I see. Now, thank you, Loyal. That was a uh, number 6. Loyal's uh, Loyal's in first with number 6. We'll deal with number 22 as our first uh 20 and also 22 were a twenty-two is what we did on the first the first time we played cows. That was our that was our case of choice the first time. I don't think you knew that, did you? I think you came in after that. But yeah, we we selected twenty-two on the first round. So we'll start with twenty-two. It's uh, the throwaway case. Oh, that would have been a better that would have been a better one. <laughs> I didn't think you were here, so what a Did you just pick it because it was the day's date? Because that was my logic. Twenty two Let's go with all the um everything divisible by two will eliminate. This is a bad this is a bad strategy. All the all the twos, all the twos are big numbers. No. That's the one we don't want to see. All the twos have bad numbers. Sorry, it takes a very long time to chew an apple slice. I don't know if you've been able to fully appreciate that the uh, the button flashes when it's uh, time to make a decision. No deal. We haven't even eliminated all of the even numbers. That's looking better. That's looking worse. Well, the good thing about all the even numbers having high values in them is our number six is even, right?
it's time for the banker. Hello. All right. Okay. Deal or no deal? What are you thinking? Hello, boat ladder. Happy Janksgiving. Welcome to the Deal or No Deal TV plug and play. Things are going colossally wrong for me. <laughs> I'm terrible at game shows. All right, we got three left to open. We're out of even numbers. Let's get this lonely 13 over here out of the corner. Nice. <laughs> Always work our way in from each side. We'll just take the lowest and the highest number each time. About time for the banker. Hello. All right. I think our offer went up. Deal or no deal. I'm wrong. Clearly, I have know nothing about math. <laughs> what do you think? <sighs> no deal. Three cases. So we'll get rid of three. Stunningly bad. Five. Open the kit. And twenty three. I don't even want to try and predict. Yes, we want to see what this offer is. Hello. All right. Okay. What would this money mean to you? <laughs> deal or no deal? We need to think about this, my friends. What, what would this imaginary money mean to us? <laughs> So, like, the way, the thing is, there's no incentive to do well in this game. Like, if you're going to have a, um... If you're going to have a single player game show video game, you have to you have to have a mechanism in the game to reward the player for performing well. <laughs> because it doesn't because it doesn't matter if I walk out of the game with a million or zero, I'm the same either way. Like what you have to do uh, what you have to do is you have to have an in-game store with a lot of uh, like desirable cosmetic items or like or have you know like an animal crossing style house or like a splatoon 3 style locker with things that you can buy to decorate it and your winnings feed into your account for that you just make everything in the in those in-game stores super expensive so you're you're incentivized to do really well so that you can actually spend your winnings on something in the game so that you care about winning money <laughs> because it makes absolutely no difference because there's nothing for me to use my imaginary money for you know in this situation I don't remember the show Bobby's World. I remember that it exists. I know I watched a little bit of it. Here comes an offer. Hello. Deal or no deal. But I uh 
I don't really have any strong feelings for it either way, personally. I feel like I remember... I remember there being some Bobby's World themed toys in a, like a Burger King kids meal once. I think I had one of those when I was real young. How he Mandel with the voices, right? What do you think? Can we have a drum roll? Open the kit. Um, I love the Burger King's Kids Mills toys always more than the McDonald's toys, Loyal says. Um, they were much rarer for me. We didn't actually have a we didn't actually have a Burger King anywhere near my hometown. So it was pretty rare that I that I ate at a Burger King growing up. We had a McDonald's and we had a Dairy Queen. Eventually. I think the Dairy Queen was older. We had a Dairy Queen first, and then at some point we got a McDonald's. About time for the banker. We got a couple big numbers up there yet. No Wendy's. Deal or no deal. Um, yeah, uh, da Dairy Queen and McDonald's were the only burger places. I like uh, I like Dairy Queen's burgers a lot. Let's uh, you know what? Let's get rid of fifteen and nine, and let's keep the two prime numbers up there. move. I'm always making I'll bad moves. The banker wants you to leave. Here comes an offer. Hello. All right. Okay. You ready for some bad news? Deal or no deal? Sticking with my bad plan. It really was. It really was the worst plan I could have come up with. About time for the banker. Here comes an offer. Hello. All right. Ready for some bad news? Deal or no deal? Always no deal. Goodbye, seventeen. Open the kit. Uh, you think you still have the Bobby's World toy from Burger King? Um, uh, I am almost a hundred percent certain the answer to that is no. <laughs> I wouldn't even know where to look for it if I if I still did. I don't think there's I don't think there's any possibility. Banker time. Okay. I'm now going to get an offer and you have to make 
make a decision. Hello. That's true. We haven't seen what happens when you take the deal. We've got to take the deal. I've got to see all, like, the goal is to see all the content in the game, right? I mean, all of it we can see. <laughs> so, uh, we've got to take the deal, because i got to see what happens. What's in your case? Can we have a drum roll? Open the case. Well, look at that. At least it was a good deal. There's not even any, like, dialogue, not, not any congratulations or anything. And then it goes immediately into high-low. It is, it is exactly the same. Alright, so this was a confusing game. How oh, I look disappointed. He, he looks like he's harboring some negative, like he's hiding some negative emotions behind that face. Let's just go in order. One million dollars, okay. So, hang on. So then we'll pick number two. Am I trying to pick which one is... I'm trying to pick which one is higher, right? I think the left is higher. Press for left. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Okay, I misunderstood how the game was going to work. That was thrilling. <laughs> Alright, so now I have to guess which one is higher. Oh, so the, the right. Press for right. There we go, okay. Alright, we'll just keep just keep moving in order and ten dollars. The next one's gotta be higher than ten, right? So we want the right hand case. I have to talk myself through the buttons. How in the world? Robbed. How are the four lowest numbers on the board all grouped right next to each other? The game the game doesn't like my strategies, so it cheats. It sees it sees I'm operating with a pattern and and it takes advantage of it. That's all there is to it. I cannot I cannot believe that I'm so unlucky. But look at that. We won a million dollars and change. And I feel exactly as excited as when we won 170 in the last game. <laughs> that is the moat anybody has ever walked away from in the history of the LRN. All right. Well, there you go. We just set a record. I think we won. I don't really think there's much else to do, right? Oh, I gotta put in my name.
Let's look at this money trail another time or two. We're going to move on to our next uh, plug and play here uh, before too long. There are, but there are no carts, loyal. But I'll, I'll, I'll show you the, uh, I'll show you the device. Uh, for sure. They're just little handheld things with wires that come out and plug directly into the TV. The controller and the game are all built into... The games are built into the controller, basically. And the controller plugs directly into the TV. Terribly difficult. This was made in two thousand six. Which I assume is the height of Deal or No Deal's popularity. There were a lot of numbers in order in that one. Oh, that should have been winnable. Two thousand and six, the year Frowny got out of high school. Close. Master Tuesday, welcome in. Happy Tuesday. Happy Jenks Giving.
I just, I so badly want to win this, but I, it just is never going to happen. Uh. It's random, right? So eventually I'll get a sequence where they're just all in order. When I can remember the last ones, I can't remember the first ones, and vice versa. My PB is 11. I've gotten 11 of the numbers correct. Hopeless. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna exit out of that by picking what I know is wrong. Uh. Come on, Frowny, you can do it. No. Four was the correct answer there. <laughs> it's so wildly difficult. If only it were 12 numbers. If it were just 12, I could do it.
I thought I was going to have that one. That was heartbreaking. The the one at the two back. I thought I was gonna get it. I don't even remember what the first number was. <laughs> it, it's so weird. It's it's not that many numbers, but if I if I focus intently on the last few numbers, I completely forget the first number. <laughs> too scattered. That should have been so easy. Again, like, it should have been so easy. There were so many of them that were just right next to each other. Ah. Uh, Yake says, my brain is too smooth for this. I can remember, like, five at most. <laughs> yeah, about about five or six is is what I get. Is what I get for the most part. If I get really lucky, like I said, the best I've done is 11. I'm much too dyslexic to remember strings of numbers, Cal says. Now that will make it, that will make it tough. hard enough as it is. It's, it hurts when I just don't even remember the first one. I mean, I'm, I'm not even focused on trying to remember the numbers, really. I'm just trying to... Uh, I'm just trying to remember the shape of the pattern. You know, as much as random numbers can be called a pattern... I 
I wish I just had anything to like equate them to so that I could uh so I could develop a mnemonic for it. I think 11's the best I'm going to do, though. Yeah. All right. All right, my friends. We're done with this one for tonight. I wanted to win it for you, but... It's just not going to happen. Deal or no deal is not my game. So we will say goodbye to Howie. Volume, high, low, clear data. We'll give credit to all the fine people who put this uh, who put this together. No deal tonight. That's right. Deal or no deal. No deal all the way. We'll put this away and I'll grab our next, uh, I'll grab our next event.